Good morning. Today we are going to have a very exciting session of crafting with Miss Courtney. We are going on a peace rescue mission. And you might say, well, Miss Courtney, we know what peace is. Like, why do we need to go rescue peace? Well, I have this theory that people are sort of confused about peace. The one person who's not confused about peace is Jesus. And a lot of people say, well, I have to go to foreign lands to find peace, or I have to work really hard to find peace. Well, Jesus is, doesn't want us having to travel the earth to find peace because he put peace inside all of us. So what we're gonna work on today is called Peace Portraits, which we can do as a collage, or eventually when I explain it, you'll know that you can put portraits of people who represent faith or hope or joy or love, and you can put all your friends in here, your coaches, everything. So I will, I love you all very much. So I am gonna talk about sports today. And you know I am terrible at sports, but I like watching sports. I like watching you all in sports. So basically, when you are doing hockey or you're doing lacrosse, you have coaches. Now, before you walk, or the first day of your spring lacrosse or your winter hockey, do you wait for the coach to come and put hockey talent into you or put lacrosse talent or put basketball talent? No, you have it in you. They just help you find it, right? So where was your talent, sports talent before? It was inside you. The coach doesn't magically give you something that you don't have. So we want to work. The reason we have to rescue peace is because in our culture, people always say, well, we need to find peace. We have to get to peace. And the Quakers have something I love. They say, peace is the way, not the goal. And that is really transformational. And that's what really Jesus was saying. So what we want to do today is we want you to do a project at home. I mean, Miss Courtney always goes big. I understand that. So you can go to Riverhead Lumber and get a piece of wood, or you can simply do it, do your piece portraits on construction paper, whatever you want. So you say, well, how do I find peace inside me? Well, in the culture, we have peace signs. I'm not dead peace signs, really. They were really popular in the 70s when I was a kid. But the thing is, it was a little confusing. Like, the peace sign became peace when really Jesus says, you're the peace. I put the peace inside you. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to start working on this. And Mr. Chris is so nice to Miss Courtney. So helpful. Um, for our The way we're starting this is, you're going to do your own at home. But here... We, I cut some pictures out, and if you call me or email me, I will send you a packet of church pictures, or you can use your own at home. Oh, I was going to put this here and this here. So what you're going to do is, I mean, love, I'm going to also put like Jesus here and some saints and maybe some leaders like Dr. King and Gandhi who represent these things. In the middle, I'm going to do our church family because um, that's where we find a lot of peace. And when you come to church, Father Mark doesn't like wave a magic wand from the pulpit and say, oh, here, now you've come to church, you have peace. What Father Mark does and what Miss Courtney tries to do and Chris through music is we try to show you that the peace is already inside you. So when Jesus after Easter first came to the apostles, he said this word, peace be with you, right? So people translated that to mean that some people had peace and other people didn't, and we had to give you peace. But what Jesus really meant to say, well, he said, he meant what he said. He said, we've just translated it. Peace is in you. He was reminding all the apostles when they were really scared after Easter, when, when Jesus came back, I left you my peace. So this is what Jesus says. My peace I give you. My peace I leave you. Now, that kind of means the same thing, but not really because why would he say both things? Because he's giving you peace and he's leaving it to you for the rest of your life. That's why it's so important. The thing he gave doesn't get taken away. And really, peace is the Holy Spirit. 
And the reason why we have to go on a rescue mission to peace is really say that it's inside everybody, not outside of everybody. And the real point is, is that peace is sort of invisible, right? So it's hard to explain to people, but you make peace visible. That's why we have all these pictures today. It's kind of like a peace museum today. Kind of groovy, kind of cool. And we wanted you to see that you are peace. You are the way. You're not looking for a goal. Every day you bring peace. And I really want to dedicate this crafting session to the confirmation class because, you know, they couldn't do their conf they will do their confirmation, but they couldn't do it in April when they were have it. We didn't have their retreat. But what I realized, I felt so sorry, but then I realized that with all that's happened, they had the world's longest retreat, and they'll probably be the they are the best confirmation class ever because they really had to learn in tough times what peace was. And it's interesting in Jeremiah for the, um, the lectionary this week is all the readings you can get on the internet. And Jeremiah talks about prophets always, prophets were a little negative, I have to admit. They said, oh, war is coming, locusts are gonna come to your fields. They have all kinds of bad news. But Jesus has really good news. And in this Jeremiah, someone said, wait a minute, Someone's gonna come along with good news and everyone really listened because, I mean, they kind of wanted to know what the prophets were saying, but it wasn't like happiness. So this is the thing. You are good news. You are the peace of Jesus by being kind and loving and helpful in ways that you get invitations every day to do that. You are amazing at it. So I want you to have fun with these peace portraits. Paint yourself, paint people who inspire you, paint your family. You can do a bunch of them like we have. Look at Father Mark. Father Mark is just gonna love this picture of him right here. But I think it's very inspiring that he's holding a heart. And here we are, you know I love hearts at Glen Gardens, you know, there's Mrs. Pasilico and Mr. Pasilico. They, uh, kids love them down there. Here's Jet and Piper at Christmas, you know, sharing the good news. Oh, and this is, um, uh, this is um, a baptism where the, the father's lighting the light. That's so inspiring. Our star, here are our angels spreading the good news. Here's Vaughn, always happy. Um, and you see all of you are here, Blake and Kate Blunden and, you know, every, oh, Squirrels joined us for Crafting with Miss Courtney. That is like super fun. Um, so anyway, you all are peace. This world really needs your inspiration. And to our confirmation class, we really are so proud of you and really hats off to you for just going on your own and spreading the love of Jesus naturally in your everyday life. It's an inspiration to your Sunday school kids. Have a great week.